Hello, peeps. It's a hillbilly half it. How are you today? And we're back to doing some normal videos where I can go into detail instead of talking all the time because it's a little bit pressure off because the harvest is done. So I've got a real sick video for you today about another BBC pervert and it's been hushed up about what actually has happened. It's bad enough him dealing with animals, but when you look into it, there's more to it in the end. So we're going to go through this in detail. And this guy was in all the National Geographic stuff, all the David Attenborough stuff. He's in charge of all that, and it's being kept hush hush. So please comment, rate, and subscribe, and please subscribe and share this stuff out there. We need to get to six thousand because, as you know. My stuff doesn't get shared as, that, as much as it should do. So let's get going. I have to put this up. The content in this video is intended for comedic purposes only. It's not comedian on this though. The views expressed in this video are not to be taken as factual information or a representation of my personal beliefs. I am critically reviewing the info and videos I show as examples. And there is some serious sick stuff coming. No photos of anything, mind. Just explaining what this sicko has been up to. Now, George Orwell, he would be like this at the moment, and he sees the madness that is happening, especially in the UK and in the West at the moment, is psychopathic people in charge everywhere. And this is one, the BBC pervert. Now, this was taken off the BBC Australia News, ABC. So, British crocodile expert jailed for sexual abuse of dogs. Uh, when I saw this, and I, I could not believe this isn't on the mainstream all the time. I just, got, I, you know these things have been hidden. Adam Britton was one of the world's leading crocodilian researchers. This is on the 8th of August, 2024, so not long ago. A renowned British crocodile expert has been jailed for 10 years and five months in Australia after admitting to sexually abusing dozens of dogs in a case which horrified the nation. Well, as you see when I go through this, because I'm going to read this all out, he was actually caught with child porn videos as well. So Adam Bolt Britton, a leading zoologist who has worked on the BBC and National Geographic Productions pleaded guilty to 56 charges relating to bestiality and animal cruelty. He also admitted to four counts of assessing child, accessing child abuse material. The Northern Territory Supreme Court heard the 53-year-old filmed himself torturing the animals until almost all died and then shared the videos under online under pseudonyms. What a sick flunt. His abuse went unnoticed for years until a clue was found in one of his videos. Britain was arrested on April 22, 2022 after a search of his rural Darwin property, which also uncovered child abuse material on his laptop. Much of the details of Britain's crimes are too graphic to publish and so grotesque Chief Justice Michael Grant warned the courtroom they could cause nervous shock. As the facts of this case were read out loud, some members of the public rushed outside. Others watching from the gallery cried and mouthed insults at Britain. He at times hung his head and reached for tissues. Maybe he should have his head detached from his body, I think. Calling the offending devious, Justice Grant said the unalloyed pleasure Britain took in torturing the animals was sickeningly evident. Your depravity falls entirely outside any ordinary human conception, he said. Including t time already served, Britain could be eligible for parole in t September 2028. He's also banned from only any mammals for the rest of his life. Mr. Britain's lawyer argued his offending was driven by a rare disorder caused intense atypical sexual interest. Sicko, in other words. 
In court on Thursday, they read out a letter from Britain who apologised for his demeaning crimes. I deeply regret the pain and trauma that I have caused to innocent animals and consequently to my family, friends and members of the community, it said. Look who his mate is, eh? Look who his mate is. How come he isn't saying anything about it, eh? What he's, be, he's too busy preaching to us about climate change. Climate change, that's what he's doing. Isn't it? Remember that guy on the right there, Mr Attenborough, was also head of the BBC. Uh, when a certain guy was uh, committing perverted acts here, Mr. Savile. He was at the head of the BBC then, if you look back. I deeply regret the, uh, I deeply regret the pain and trauma that I caused to innocent animals and contrary to my family, friends and members of the community. Adding that his family was not aware or involved in any way, he wrote, I will seek long-term treatment and I will find a path towards redemption. I would suggest the path towards redemption is bringing back the guillotine, personally. The abuse spans decades. Born in West Yorkshire, Britain grew up in the UK before moving to Australia more than 20 years ago to work with crocodiles. With a PhD in zoology, he had built a global reputation for his expertise, even hosting Sir David Attenborough while a veteran broadcaster filmed parts of his Life in Cold Blood docu-series on his own, on this guy's property. Do you hear that? So Mr. Attenborough was filming Cold Blood docu-series at this guy's property. I wonder why I haven't heard about that. Locals have told me that he seemed like a quiet but passionate defender of animals. They all do all these sick flunts. But he was harboring a sadistic sexual interest in them, court documents say. Exchanges with like-minded people in secret line, online chat rooms detail how Britain began molesting horses at age 13. Jesus. What? It was sadistic as a child to animals, but I had repressed it. In the last few years, I let it out again and now I can't stop. I don't want to, he wrote in one of his messages tendered to the court. My God, it's hard even to read this. For at least the past decade, Britain had exploited his own pets and manipulated other dog owners into giving him theirs. My own dogs are family and I have limits, he said. Jesus. Work. He explained in a telegram chat entered into evidence. I only badly mistreat other dogs. This bloke should be put down. I have no emotional bond to them. They are toys purely and simple. And they are plenty more where they came from. He tortured at least 42 dogs, killing 39 of them, according to court documents seen by the BBC. The files only detail his crimes over the 18 months before his arrest, but still fill more than 90 pages. So that's only 18 months worth. What the hell has he been up to besides? These files only show 18 months worth of his crimes and his whole life he's been up to it. Using online market trace Gumtree Australia, Britain would find people who were often reluctantly giving their pets away due to travel or work commitments. He would build a report with them to negotiate taking custody of the animals. And if they reached out for updates on old pets, the court heard he would tell them false narratives and send them old photos. In reality, he was abusing the animals in a shipping container on his property that had been fitted out with recording equipment. Oh my God, I can hardly read this. Which he called his torture room before sharing footage of his crimes online using aliases. Britain would also coach others on how to copy his behavior and get rid of the evidence. My God, what has this guy been up to besides? Asked how to dispose of dogs' remains, Britain who shared the sprawling property on the outskirts of Darwin with eight crocodiles, said, some I feed to other animals. He was only caught after uploading a clip where he tortured at least eight dogs, all except one were puppies, which he passed on to NT police in an anonymous tip-off. I've got to be honest, I'm having a job to read this, but it needs to be read. Britain usually went on to great lengths to avoid identifying himself or his locations in his videos, 
but in this one, a bright orange city of Darwin dog leash could be seen in the background. Within weeks, April 2022, police swooped in on his property and arrested Britain, who has been remanded in custody ever since. They seized recording devices, animal range, and a laptop on which they also found 15 files containing child abuse material. So this guy has been at this for all his life, and they've only done him for the last few months of dog stuff. And horse, this bloke is a sick plunt. I am mad reading this. Animal advocates say the case shows the need for stronger animal cruelty, cruelty penalties. Speaking outside court, many had travelled from all over the country for the hearing, expressed disappointment at the sentence, but said it offered some solace to the owners of the pets Britain abused. Addressing the zoologist directly, one activist told Britain he was right where he should be, locked up. Once respected and esteemed, now you're a disgrace to the scientific community said Natalie Carey. No one will ever look at you in admiration again. This has made me physically sick reading this, but it needs to be put out there. Please share this out there to t tell people what is going on behind closed doors in the BBC. This was shared on BBC Australia. That's where I got this from. I am absolutely stomping mad now after reading that because I hadn't read it, read it all before. So um, there's some sick people around. Please subscribe and share this out there, people. It needs to be. Ta-da.